It's been called a failure and downright frustrating for students, teachers and parents. Now Governor Haslam is laying out new plans to fix the controversial TN Ready test system. Chris Conti sat down with the governor today. Chris, there's a lot of work to do here. Yeah, and ladies, especially because confidence in TN Ready testing right now is so incredibly low. During the, the last spring, the online test used to administer TN Ready continually crashed, leaving teachers and students infuriated and simply beside themselves. Good morning. Let, let me go ahead. And His start. time as Tennessee's time. governor is quickly running out. From teachers was fix this, don't start over. But Bill Haslam is determined to fix one of the biggest problems plaguing his administration. We don't want to go back. We know that, you know, 10 years ago, we were not telling parents the truth about how well their students were doing. With the state's education commissioner today, Haslam outlined an aggressive plan to fix TN Ready, Tennessee's student assessment program plagued with problems. If you're talking to teachers and students about what this do has done for the morale of, of schools and classrooms, how do you address that? Unfortunately, we're going to have to get it right for several years in a row uh, before we get past where we are. That's what I was going to say. How do you, how do you regain confidence in I, this? I think I, I, the only way I know is to deliver. Haslam and his administration have spent the last few months talking to teachers statewide. As a result, they've decided students from third through eighth grade will only use paper to take TN Ready. High school students will continue to test online. The state is also working to get school districts more computers at cost. Rural districts have especially struggled to have enough equipment for all of their students to take TN Ready. It's fair to say it's been one of my biggest frustrations. Because state officials are also working to get test results back to students and teachers faster. Constant failures last year, though, brought the tests under fire. The culture of this type of a rigorous assessment is not where we need it to be. All as the clock continues to tick on this administration and whether TN Ready will be just that. Questar, the vendor who has fallen under fire for how they've handled TN Ready, will continue to administer the test this spring and fall, and that's because the state has a contract with them that they cannot break. Ladies, Haslam's administration is going to look for a new vendor for the 2019-2020 school year. He is determined to keep this program going. A lot at play here, though, especially with the election coming up. I would say. Yeah, All right. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris.